we're going to look at efficient ways of practicing so you don't have to punish yourself with eight hours a day like I tried to do for a long time. If you practice with intention, direction, focused, all that stuff, you're going to get better faster. That's what I'm, that's what I'm here for. I've said some of this stuff across many videos, so I'm repeating myself to a degree, but here we go. Practicing scales. Blah, 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 like this. Boring as hell. Not musical, doesn't do anything for me. Probably didn't do anything for most of you. Um, but once you can play a scale up and down, doesn't have to be fast, but you just have to know what frets you're hitting and you're playing all the right notes. That's the main thing then do not practice it like this. Steal rhythms, steal them from other musicians, songs, whatever, drummers, guitarists, bass players, who cares? But steal a simple rhythm. Da, da, da. Then you play a, a different rhythm, you know, the next time around. Um, the rhythm so what I would what I did do back in the day I would play a rhythm or you steal a rhythm play the scale change the rhythm play the scale change the rhythm eventually I would change the rhythm for every phrase so so I'm singing and playing at the same time this is what we want to do that's one way of looking at your scales and practicing. Um, I approach chords this way as well when I'm playing rhythm. If I'm playing a song that's super simple. This is a pretty standard strumming pattern. But even with that, I might go da 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 back to normal. arpeggios within the chords. Such a good singer. Hopefully you get the idea. We have to have this internal metronome going on so everything we play is attached to the metronome. I always say metronomes are a bit boring, but they are amazing if you play with them. If you get used to it and good at it and comfortable with playing with a metronome, your playing will improve drastically. And also it's easy to play with other people that have played with metronomes and their timing is good. So that's the idea. Just going through scales in a more musical way. It is um, really, really way more helpful from what I've seen with all my students who have improved faster with this way rather than the way I did it 20, 30 years ago now. Oh my God. Yeah. It's boring. It sounds horrible. Anyway, that's it. Short and sweet. Enjoy. Practice hard. Sign up. Subscribe. Sign up. Whatever. Touch the bell thing. Touch the bell. Stroke the bell. Do whatever you want with the bell. I don't care. Um, have a good day. See ya.